Hi, I'm Mike Boland, analyst with BI Kelsey here in San Francisco, which is the site of BI Kelsey Now, uh, which is our one day conference taking place June 12th. And we're going to discuss the local on demand economy, um, also known as the Uberification of local, and we're calling it load for short. Um, so we're really gearing up for the show and putting the final touches on the program. Uh, we're excited for some of the top named speakers. Uh, we've assembled who are really impacting the ecosystem of on-demand services. We've got Homejoy, we've got Instacart, Hotel Tonight, and some of the biggest exemplars of this uh, local on-demand model. Um, we also have some of the blue chip companies that will have a key place in the load ecosystem in terms of enabling it uh, through supporting functions. Uh, we've got Square and MasterCard in terms of uh, uh, easy payment processing for service providers. We also have lots of venture capitalists that are growing their portfolio of load companies. Uh, we have Comcast Ventures, Obvious Ventures, and others. So what we're really going to discuss at the show are all the different elements of this emerging area. What are its technological and economic drivers? And in a larger sense, how is that impacting society and business? And what does it practically mean um, in terms of the near-term business opportunities for anyone in the traditional BIA Kelsey local media and advertising space and even beyond those industries. Um, so drilling down on load for a minute as a primer for what we're gonna talk about at the conference, a lot of its appeal has come from its unit economics in really connecting buyer and seller in more efficient ways. And in doing so, it has the potential to really disrupt the traditional means of finding local services, such as search. Um, it compresses that process. And what I mean by that is that the traditional model is to do a Yellow Pages lookup or a Google search, and then to sift through results and listings and reviews and qualify a decision in sometimes a relatively convoluted way. Now the difference with load is that you just press a button and a service provider is sent to you. And that's all based on algorithms that match buyer and seller based on location or, or buying history or performance and a number of other variables. So the science of that load matching is one of the keys to load that, that we'll examine at the conference. And the reason why this is all important is because it's really resonating on two different levels, the consumer side and also with service providers. So as consumers, we're really conditioned um, into a more on-demand culture. And, and the mobile device increasingly becomes what I like to call a remote control for the physical world. And that creates habit and expectation and a thirst that we believe load apps are quenching. Um, and that's especially true, it's worth noting, uh, among millennials who are increasingly a buying empowered and attractive demographic to reach with these types of products. Um, so that'll only continue to grow. So for service providers, on the other end of the equation, load is really resonating with millions of individuals that we like to call the 1099 economy. Um, load services support and engender the flexibility for them to make money. And that's really changing the way that we as a society view work. Its barriers have lowered with lots of load services. With Uber, for example, drivers used to have to jump through several hoops and upfront investment in starting a business and, and marketing for new customer acquisition. Now they simply join a system where demand is aggregated for them. And for that, they pay 20% as they go. Um, for example, Uber's cut is 20% of, um, of, dr of driver revenue. Um, so it really replaces an, an operational investment uh, with a service fee. So, so that's more tenable uh, for service providers, in this case drivers, uh, to handle and get up and running. And for that 20%, Uber provides the demand aggregation and the customer acquisition and the payment processing and the, the all the other operational needs that would likely cost service providers much more if they were to go do that on their own, uh, not to mention upfront business risk. So that basic model is really spreading into nearly every other local service vertical you can imagine. And we have a list of some pretty quirky ones where it's going. Um, 
So, so there are a lot of advantages uh, that have resonated with workers, but there are also a lot of controversial aspects to all of this um, and a lot of detractors, and we're going to uncover that at the conference as well. So all of that really just scratches the surface. Uh, this is going to have societal, economic, generational, and technological implications. We're going to discuss all of that at the conference. We hope to see you there. Please let me know if um, you'd like a discount code to attend. You can email me directly at mboland at biakelsey.com. Uh, so San Francisco, June 12th, BI Kelsey Now, Rise of the Local On-Demand Economy. I'm Mike Boland. Thanks for listening.